I'm gonna try that again. <laughs> Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel. I'm Nikki. I'm Adam. And today's video, we're doing a what I eat in a day. So, what we're doing, we haven't done anything yet today. Um, I'm still in my pajamas actually, but we are gonna get our breakfast in the oven because it takes like 30 minutes to bake. And I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting ready then. We're gonna do some shopping today, and honestly, I don't even know what we're making. We're gonna do some grocery shopping today and then decide throughout the day what we're gonna be doing for dinner. So I don't know yet, but breakfast is something that we have been making a lot recently. I've been trying out a different recipe every time I make it and I think I finally found, well, no, this one's gonna be way different anyway, <laughs> so we're gonna be testing out another one today. But we have been making baked oats for breakfast and they have been so good. So there's so many different varieties. I have found so many different recipes like on TikTok and stuff. So I kind of just combined some and today the flavor we're making is gonna be lemon blueberry because He's a freak for lemon blueberry, like muffins and breads. I don't know how it's gonna go. We're putting a banana on here, so I don't know how it's all gonna go together, but we're gonna try it. So let's go ahead and get started. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel, and let's go ahead and make some baked oats. Okay, so I'm set up here. I just have my blender, and I'm gonna go ahead and just start putting the ingredients in. So I'm making technically what would be like a double batch because we're each gonna get our own. Okay, so I have one banana right here that I'm gonna go ahead and put in the blender. Then I'm adding a half a cup of unsweetened, unflavored almond milk, two eggs, one cup of oats, and I'm just using the great value old-fashioned oats. You don't want to use quick oats, you want to use these. So one cup of that. Then I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of vanilla in. And like I said, we're doing lemon blueberry, so I don't want it overly lemon, just like a little hint. So I'm going to use a little bit of lemon juice, probably like a teaspoon. No, maybe two. Okay, maybe like a tablespoon of lemon juice. <laughs> and then I'm also just gonna use a little bit of pure lemon extract. That will be more like a teaspoon. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a teaspoon of lemon. And that's like an additional ingredient that's not part of like the base of the oats, um, the lemon extract and the lemon juice as well as the blueberries. So those are the things that you can like mix up every time when you're making this. And then a teaspoon of baking powder. So one thing I've also changed the most while I'm mixing up these recipes is the sweetener that I'm using. Today I'm going to be using this monk fruit sweetener and I'm going to use two tablespoons of it and we liked the sweetness that this gave. I've also used like the allulose and applesauce and stuff and I just think this gives like the sweetest flavor out of all of them so that's what I'm using today. And that is everything. So I'm going to go ahead and blend this up really quick. So then I have the batter in here. I'm just going to pour it into a measuring cup to make it easier for me to split it up between the two of us. And it's usually about two cups. What I use is I have these dishes, which... So I got these from Target, and I don't remember how much they are, but I could try to link them below. We just each get our own for the baked oats, and I just spray them really lightly. And then I'm just going to take this and divide it between the two. So now these are done, I'm going to pop them in the oven for 25 minutes at 375. Okay, so while the oats are in the oven, we're just making our greens really quick. So today I'm using Bloom Citrus Flavor. I have the bigger one of it, so this is my third favorite out of their flavors, but I still enjoy it. I just find this one's been a little bit more like grainy at the bottom, but still so good compared to what Adam has, which he's about to finish. So Adam's using the Amazing Grass Green Superfood. Um, very similar, but probably half the price, and he doesn't mind the flavor because he likes to add his own flavor to them. So today he's adding... <laughs> Wicked Blue Citrus. There we go. Okay, cheers. She oh. What are here? <laughs> what? Okay, cheers. <laughs> Okay, so we also decided we're going to sip on some coffee while we're waiting for our breakfast to get made. So this will be a three smart point protein coffee for me. This just helps keep me a lot fuller throughout the day. Um, 
yeah, and this is how I make it. I've made it plenty of times, but I'll show you guys again. So I just have my glass. I'm gonna pour in two shots of espresso, and we like the Pete's uh, espresso pods. We get like the sampler pack, so really I don't even pay attention to which one I'm making. Uh, there's one that's specifically like a chocolate that's really good. But anyway, so that's zero smart points. Then I add, this is one smart point. This is the Bloom Nutrition Chocolate Collagen. And they also make like collagen creamers. I have not tried those yet. I will soon, but I just really like this regular chocolate collagen peptides. So I go ahead and I just mix those together right now. So then to my espresso and collagen, I'm adding a protein shake. So this is two smart points on the blue plan. This is the Premier Chocolate Peanut Butter. This is my all-time favorite one. We have a bunch of different flavors here, and I go to try a new one every day, and then I stick to this one. So <laughs> it's just that good. I chug my coffee when I use this stuff. So anyway, have that, and I'm just going to go ahead. And then I give it another mix. And then I just add some ice cubes. And I like to get the ice cubes mixed in right away because it's kind of warm from the hot espresso. And that is my protein coffee. Now, Adam's is a little different. So he likes espresso, but he doesn't always use it. He also really likes flavored K-cups. So right here, he made a cup of coffee, and this is the... Uh, this has to be from, like, last year. Yeah. Are these expired? Okay. Probably. This is the pumpkin spice. <laughs> so I don't even think they have these out. I think this is from last year. He's got the cup of coffee here, and because it's pumpkin spice, he doesn't want to add chocolate collagen today, so he's using the Bulletproof that we get from Sam's Club. This is just an unflavored collagen. This is what we've used from the beginning, and it's really good. So he has a cup of ice. Dump that in there. And then this has become his favorite protein. So this is the Fairlife. We got these at Sam's Club as well, right? Yep. So this is the vanilla flavor, and yep. they're two smart points each. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. And they have chocolate and caramel too, and they're both really good. Yeah. So he just likes to get the vanilla because he likes to do the flavored coffees with it, but that is his finished coffee. So we're going to go ahead and sip on our coffees while the oats continue to bake, and then we'll be right back. Okay, so the oats just came out of the oven, and I ended up baking them for 30 minutes. So I did 20, 5, and 5. I just checked each time, and now they're done. So I like to take mine actually out of the dish. Adam likes to eat his out of the dish. So let me show you. This is the finished baked oats and the, the blueberries sunk to the bottom. They're in there, they're just not really showing on the top. So Adam will just take a spoon and eat this and sometimes he likes to add either some like cashew butter or PB2 or honey on top. Um, I might add a drizzle of honey to mine today. So that's his. And then with mine, I actually like to pop it out. So it's they've cooled down for like five minutes and I'm just gonna go ahead. Oh, it smells like lemon blueberry. Oh my gosh. So then this is what it looks like if you take it out of the dish. So it actually becomes just like, I usually eat it with my hands, <laughs> like a handheld muffin almost, and it smells really good. So I'm excited to try this. Like I said, we haven't done the lemon blueberry before. Um, I've been just testing these recipes. I'll probably come up with some actual recipes with different mix-ins once I've tried a bunch of different things. But again, I still want to even play around with more like applesauce and different sweeteners and stuff. So we'll see how that goes. But we're going to try these now. So I'm just going to put a drizzle of this honey on top of mine. Um, a teaspoon's like a point. So I'm probably just going to do very, very little. Just enough on the top. Okay, I'm making a mess. But this is the inside. Oh, okay. Mine's falling, so cheers. I didn't hit it. Oh, cheers. That's good. That's like the. I forgot to get the points. Perfect amount of lemon. That's hot. Yeah, it is. Oh. That's like the perfect amount of lemon. Mm -hmm. So let me go ahead and get the point breakdown for that and we're gonna go ahead and eat this I'm gonna go ahead and get set up editing and drink my coffee and eat my oats and just edit and relax for a little bit So like I said, we're doing some grocery shopping today And then I have some orders to finish up so I have like a cake and some cookie orders So once I get those done, we'll probably be doing dinner, but yeah, let's go ahead and eat breakfast Okay, so the point breakdown for this breakfast is really actually only four smart points for the half cup of rolled oats then the banana the egg the quarter cup almond milk baking powder vanilla uh the sweetener i use and then the lemon extract and lemon juice those are all zero points so really this is four smart points and then we topped it with about a smart point of honey so five smart points for this meal and holy cow it is good
Okay, so we're doing some grocery shopping now, and I just wanted to show you guys how I come up with my little shopping list, which this is like a guideline of the things I can't forget, but I end up getting way more than what my list actually is. But I usually just write like all the cold stuff, all the produce together, and then all like the dry goods, and then just anything else random. So I just have my list like this. We're probably going to go to Sam's Club first, so we're going to get actually a lot of the produce there. So I'll just take this in and cross it off as I go, and then the rest we get wherever else we go. So this is my list so far, but I have some stuff to add still. What do you call that? Rutabagas. What is it? <laughs> Rutabagas. <laughs> oh. So we got our grocery shopping done. All the groceries are behind me. We're going to record it after we eat lunch really quick. So I'm going to film that. But yeah, we made a quick stop at Dick's and Old Navy that we didn't plan on. So we got Adam some new work pants from Dick's. I got these really cute Nike shorts. I know this has nothing to do with anything, but I just want to show them because they're really cute. So I got these from Dick's. And then... I like this color. I want shorts in this color. These Adam found at Old Navy for eight bucks. And then I got this tank top that I've actually had my eye on for a little bit. It was only 19 bucks today and I had $4 off. So it's just like a workout tank. But yeah, anyway, we got sidetracked and got some clothes. But anyway, we decided that we have been craving peanut butter and jellies. I don't know. I've just, it has sounded so good. And we both used to work at Pop Belly, um, Pop Belly Sandwiches, if you guys have ever heard of it. And one of their like super, super good underground sandwiches they used to have was the toasted peanut butter and jelly. So we have the taste for that. And what we're going to do is we're going to make one. We're going to throw it in the air fryer and see how it turns out. We've never done it before, but I don't know. I have like a sweet tooth today, even though we had a sweet breakfast. I just want peanut butter and jelly for lunch. So I'm going to have that probably with an apple and then some sort of like chip on the side. I'm still actually pretty full from breakfast. That protein coffee always keeps me really full. But I know I'm dehydrated and I need to drink some water. So we need to chug water. Let's, Let's chug, chug water, water right now. We're going to chug water really quick. Then we're just going to start lunch. So we just like to chug waters before our meals a lot of the time. We don't have to chug it. A lot of times I just sip on it. But for fun, we chug it too. So cheers. That was a legit cheers. To make the baby and jays we're going to use this Ezekiel sesame bread. And one slice is two smart points. Two slices are four smart points. So we're going to have two slices each. This will probably be a little bit higher smart point of a lunch. But that's just because the peanut butter is higher point. Um, but it'll be worth it. We're going to use our weeklies for it. So the peanut butter I'm using, we actually just got this from the store. This is Justin's peanut butter. This was just the most like clean label that I found. It's literally just dry roasted peanuts and palm oil. I've been just trying to find labels that are a little bit cleaner, uh, even if it is a little bit more expensive, but it's worth it. So we're going to try that. And then, so we got this one from Aldi and it's just a blackberry spread and it is two smart points. So I'm going to go ahead and measure this out with the tablespoon measures and see if it's going to be enough or if we're going to have to up the points on this. And then we're going to toss it in the air fryer. Okay, so we also decided we're going to add a banana to this PB&J. So I'm going to go ahead and cut up a banana. So I just went ahead and placed the PB&Js in the air fryer and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cook them for like three minutes at 370 and then flip them over and see how they're doing. Okay, so our PB&Js just got out of the air fryer. I'm going to go ahead and cut them. Oh, you hear that crisp? That sounded good. So they're nice and toasty. The peanut butter is melted. Here, that looks good. And they're still nice and warm. Okay, so I've got my PB&J ready, and then I went ahead and just made a little bowl of blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries. I'm going to have that on the side. And then on the side with it, I'm also going to have some of these WW Hummus Crisp. It's only two smart points for this bag, and I really enjoy these. Okay, so like I said, it's a little bit higher point lunch, but that's just because of the peanut butter mainly and the bread. But it's worth it. I use my weeklies, and this will keep me full until dinner, so... 
Here we have the Berry Mix for zero smart points. The PB&J in total is four smart points for the bread, three smart points for the one tablespoon of peanut butter, and then two smart points for the blackberry jam. And then those are the hummus crisps from WW that are two smart points. So 11 for the entire meal, but so worth it. Okay, here's one of my orders I just finished up for the week. Okay, so I'm gonna have a quick snack. So I have an apple. I love the Honeycrisp apples and I just leave them in the fridge. They're even better when they're cold. And then today I'm just having a regular turkey chomp stick. And I love about chomps, they have these little quotes inside all of them. And today's is always leave things better than you found them. One smart point snack. I am back. I just went and did some roller skating at the skate park. Uh, I wasn't going to do anything today active. I was going to take a day off, but I don't know why. I, I just wanted can. to skate. We went yesterday and I really like the new skate park we found. So it was a lot of fun. I'm super sweaty right now and I'm super hungry. So let's go ahead and get started with our dinner. We finally decided what we're going to be making. So today for dinner, we're making fried rice, which is like one of our favorite meals that we make. Um, it really reminds us of like hibachi fried rice. Like this stuff is good super super low point and super filling and usually when we make this we quarter the rice but we're thinking we might just have it today depending on um how we're feeling yeah. and how much it actually looks like it makes because usually we have more points with like a chicken on the side or something like that but the chicken we're having today is this which is the black pepper tyson chicken and this is a zero smart points on the blue plan so we just tossed some of this in the air fryer we're going to go ahead and start heating it up when we start cooking the fried rice but usually we do a chicken that has like a lot of sauce on it or something, so it'll be more points. But because we're not doing that, we might just have more rice. These are the chicken and vegetable wontons. Nine of them is three smart points, and we're actually just gonna go ahead and toss them in the microwave. We like to put a little water on them and then microwave them so they're more like steamed dumplings. But you can also pan fry them or air fry them, I think, I don't know. But yeah, we're gonna have three points of that. And that's good just like mixed in with the rice and chicken, so we're pretty much just gonna throw this all in a bowl. And then the way that I make the fried rice, the main base of it is actually this mixture, which is the riced cauliflower and sweet potato. This entire bag is three smart points. We're going to toss in a bag of the mixed veggies, which are carrots, green beans, corn, and peas. You could do just peas and carrots if you want, but we like the whole mix. I use some garlic. I usually use a yellow onion, but I don't have one, so I'm going to use a half a red onion. We put some eggs in the, our fried rice, and then to give it a little bit of bulkiness and a little bit of like, a little, make it a little more satisfying, like, I'm not kidding, it tastes so much like fried rice when you eat it, you can't tell that it's the cauliflower, but we also are going to add in four smart, maybe three? <laughs> We're also going to add in four smart points of just regular jasmine rice that we had in the fridge. Then the next thing you need to make the sauce that we make. I just have some low sodium soy sauce, some rice wine vinegar, which we're gonna get more of that soon. Mm -hmm. And then this stuff is the best. This is toasted sesame oil, and this stuff is just so perfect to make the best sauce for this. So those are the three ingredients that you need for the sauce. That is everything. I'm gonna go ahead and start chopping up the onion, and then I'll show you guys how I make this. Okay, so sorry if you can hear the air fryer going in the back. I'm just cooking up our chicken, but I have the pan on medium heat right now. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it with a little bit of this olive oil spray. So 
So I've let the onion cook for like two to three minutes and then I'm gonna go ahead and add in our bag of veggies. So now that I let the veggies cook for like three minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the rice, cauliflower, and sweet potato mixture. While this is still cooking, I'm just gonna quickly scramble up the eggs. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in this jasmine rice that was just in the fridge, so it is cold, but you can also do it with uh, freshly cooked jasmine rice. And as you can see, the rice is like the perfect amount to just combine with the cauliflower rice. And I used 120 grams, so it's four smart points worth but it's just like the perfect amount of regular jasmine rice in here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and quickly make the sauce. Okay, so then I just make two little holes in the pan and I'm gonna spray a little bit of extra spray. And then I'm gonna divide the eggs up in between those two holes. And then once the eggs are pretty much cooked, you're just gonna mix them in. And then I have the sauce that I'm also gonna add. And then I'm just gonna add some salt and pepper. Okay, so I just finished up the fried rice, so I have the final meal right here. So what I did is I just put a layer of the fried rice. We decided not to have it, we decided to make thirds. So we each got a third and then we put one in the fridge for leftovers. And then I heated up our wontons in the microwave. So the way I do this is I just put them in the bowl frozen. I use this spray bottle and I just spray them a bunch of times and kind of shake them around, spray them again, and then throw them in the microwave and that way they're not like all, st well, they're kind of stuck to each other, but you can move them around. But um, it just keeps them like more steamed uh, instead of just throwing them in without putting water on them. And I'm just gonna go ahead and toss these on our bowls and that'll be our final meal. Okay, so here is what my final meal looks like. So you can barely see the fried rice, but there's a good amount in there. Then the cut up chicken and then the wontons are done. So the serving of rice, what we did is we just, for the entire batch, we added, so it was four points of jasmine rice, three points for the sauce, and then three points for the cauliflower rice. So 10 points total, we just divide that by three and call it four points for the serving. So we're calling it four points for the serving of rice, zero for the chicken, and then three smart points for the wontons. So the total meal is seven smart points on the blueprint. Okay, so sometimes I like to give you guys a little review after I start eating, cause like, this is good. If you guys make one meal or a side or something that I show you, please make this fried rice. It is delicious. It reminds us so much of just like hibachi from like our favorite restaurant, or our favorite sushi restaurant. Well, one of them, Kobe. We love their hibachi and um, it just tastes so similar to that. And I think a big part of it is the sauce, but really with the rice mixed in with the cauliflower rice, you cannot tell the difference. And this black pepper chicken is perfect in here so this is a good one okay so I changed my mind and we decided to make a dessert and my reason was because I had strawberries that were gonna go bad so what we did was we made a crepe I got these from Mariano's they're two smart points for one crepe so I just did one of each and you can just like heat them up in a pan but all I did was I put a little bit of this chocolate whipped cream which is one smart point and then I put some raspberries and strawberries in the middle and then I wrapped it up 
put some of this non-dairy almond milk for zero smart points, and then just a sprinkle of powdered sugar. So that is my dessert for tonight because I needed to eat those berries. So I'm excited for this. This will be three smart points on the blue plan. Okay, so that is it for today's What I Eat in a Day. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.